It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Let's dive in. All right, let's dive in. The first one's from Carter. He says, Bo, in your opinion, what is the ideal three bucket percentage to maximize maximize tax avoidance in retirement? Mm. Assuming running out of money isn't an issue, how might this change for an early retirement? Awesome. Okay, so uh, this is Carter, right? Yes. When Carter's talking about the three bucket strategy, we talk about when it comes to wealth building, you really want to build three distinct tax buckets. You want to have your tax-free assets, that's like your Roths or potentially like your HSA accounts. You want to have your tax-deferred assets, that's 401ks or 403bs or IRAs. And you want to have your after-tax, your brokerage assets, the assets that have already been taxed that are subject to capital gains. Well, the reason we like for you to have these three buckets is that when you get to retirement, if you have all three of those buckets built, you can pick and choose which buckets you pull your money from. Well, what that allows you to do is be in control of your financial circumstance and in control of your uh, tax situation. We have a number of clients who have uh, multi-million dollar portfolios, and even though they live off of six figures of income per year, they're only paying the lowest marginal tax bracket because we're able to pull money out of their pre-tax accounts to fill up that low tax bracket. And then for the remainder, we supplement from the after-tax or potentially from the Roth bucket. So if you can do that, you know, everyone's all scared of, okay, what happens if taxes go up or how's that going to affect things? One of the best ways to combat against what you think future taxes might be is to have those three buckets very clearly and very well defined. So Carter's question was, how do I think about building each one of those? Or what's sort of the ideal setup? Uh, And Carter, this may be surprising. I don't think that there is an (laughs) ideal setup because no two financial circumstances are the same. It definitely depends a lot on his situation. I've heard you guys say that over and over again. Um, He did uh, ask specifically, like, is there anything you would say on early retirement? Yeah, so one of the things, uh, you know, most often when it comes to accumulation, we accumulate in the most tax efficient manner possible. So one of the accounts that just naturally grows more quickly than the others is our 401k. For most folks, it's the a single account that they contribute the most to on an annual basis. Oftentimes, if you have an employer that's putting money in as well, you're getting free money. So it's kind of supercharging that account. Yeah. So naturally, a lot of folks, their 401k is their largest account. And if they are in a high tax bracket, it's likely that that's the pre-tax amount. And if you're in a lower tax bracket, there's a chance that you're building Roth dollars in that 401k. So the way that your buckets build very much depends on the availability of assets for you accumulate. So if you are someone thinking about early retirement, one of the issues you may run into is if you've been saving into a 401k and into a 401k and into a 401k, and you decide, you know what, I want to leave the workforce in my 40s or maybe even at 50, one of the problems you're going to run into is that uh, 401k accounts or IRA accounts or pretty much all retirement accounts have age restrictions where if you want to get to that money, you have to be a certain age. Well, if you're someone retiring before 59 and a half, or if you're in a 401k plan before 55, you're leaving, you don't have access to those dollars. So you better make sure that one of your buckets is nice and built up so that you can bridge how long it takes you to get from age 45 or 50 or 55 out to 59 and a half, where there you unlock all the remainder of your assets that you can get to. So if you are someone who's thinking about early retirement, that's prioritizing early retirement, I do think as you're working through the financial order of operations, you might have to think, all right, they're between step six and seven, maxing out employer accounts and hyper accumulation. I may have to make a shift. If I know that I want to exit the workforce early, I got to have that after tax bucket built up because there's a chance those are going to be the most valuable dollars that I have if I'm planning on exiting the workforce pre 55 or 59 and a half. Good answer. Thanks for your question, Carter. 